at the core of what we do as coaches is have a belief that you're resourceful and whole. Mm, and the very first belief absolutely. is you're resourceful and whole. Absolutely. So we fully believe in your potential. That's our very first cornerstone in coaching that we start. Mm. Every, every client we meet, every student we meet, and when they walk through the door you know, of some of our diplomas and they're going, oh my God, this is such a big piece of work to take on. Mm. Um, our support net for them is 100% is authentically believing that they're, they're going to make it. That's our starting point mm. until they've built enough supports in their architecture to build it themselves. One of the pieces that we bring into that space to help them build their own unique architecture for self is the mindset and attitude that we want mm. them to, to grow and continue to grow. We're still <coughs> growing ours. Um, so we really believe in a, in a winning mindset and, and intentions behind that. Uh, we make up words all the time in our business. Um, and one of the words that we make up is win tensions, to have an intention to win and have the mindset at the beginning of the day Love that. To, to have Love a win that. tension. Because intentions can go, we've, we, we've met lots of people that I had a really good intention but you know it didn't work out. Well mm. was that a win tension or was it just an intention to get stuff done? There's Great a big question. difference. So when you are from your business looking at coaches that you're building or teams you're working with or in the sports arena that, that you operate in so well, what do you need to do using your sports psychology or experience or both to create win tensions in the mm. sports field to be able to get the belief in play mm. and the mindset in play for players and teams to win? Mm. That's, a, that's a fantastic question. Um, and I really like this concept of the win tension uh, because intention alone is not enough. Yeah. Um, that's what I've found in my mm. own career, my occupation, but also the athletes, and managers and teams <coughs> and coaches that I've been working with. So connecting intention to action yeah. is one of the things that actually separates the good from the great, yes. defines athletic performance on the highest level. So one of the things that successful athletes have taught me is that a commitment to excellence is not just this idea of espoused values, mm. of speaking them out or labeling them or um, uh, intellectually understanding it as a concept. Um, it is the physical, personal, mental, emotional, spiritual commitment mm. to see that through every single day. And that requires discipline because not every day is sunshine and rainbows. Sometimes it's hard, it's difficult, it's tough. We have a, a phrase that um, we're able to win on Saturday because we win in training, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. It's the rainy afternoon on a Thursday in Birmingham when it's grisly and you know dark and dull and, and perhaps we may have lost the last game but it's the players and the teams the coaches and the managers that are able to commit with discipline to the intention to act upon it to make it a win tension as your phrase mm. and I think that's one of the things that I've learned and I think uh, not just in professional football that yeah. um, relates across sporting context I'm, I'm now working with Team GB in the, in the run-up to uh, Japan uh, in 2020. And again, those, the athletes within the swim team, um, certainly, those athletes, they wake up early morning, 4 or 5 a.m., they're in the pool, they train for two hours. Wow. Then they go to university and study their undergraduate or their master's program for another two hours, and then they come back to the pool for another two or three hours, and then after that, there's a gym session. So they are living every single minute of their lives committed with discipline in action towards the vision. That's the difference. Mm -hmm.